All right, so I'm Michael Vitito, uh, farm in Washington County. Uh, so we're down in the southeast corner of the state. So I'm going to talk about kind of what we are doing, what we did this, pr this past growing season in 2021 for our soybean program. We're going to break down some cost stuff. I know we like to look at numbers. So this is an example of a weed control program that you'd be using if you weren't using a cover crop. Uh, you know, you got your burn down pass early, $30. I don't know, that might be a little bit cheap. I'm not sure what prices are going to be like next year. But uh, burn down, post pass, and then possibly a second post pass, depending on what weed pressure is. So $65 to $85. Uh, like I said, this is based on 21 pricing. 22 is going to be higher. Just how much? I don't know. Um, but the thing to think about with a program like this, the majority of these costs are dollars that are getting sent off the farm to chemical companies. You're not getting those dollars back. There's no way you're going to get them back. They're gone. You know, and we're spending dollars to treat symptoms. We're not solving any problems. If herbicide solved problems, we wouldn't have weeds anymore. But we still have weeds, so it's just a symptom treatment. So then once we start using rye, this is pretty close to what our system was this year. Um, $30 to get a rye cover crop established. I think, I think about everybody can do that, even if you, know, you want to hire everything done and pay full retail for seed. I think that's a reasonable dollar amount to throw at it. Um, to burn that down, you know, if you're just using Roundup, I think you can get that done for about 12 bucks. Uh, might be a little bit more this next year. And then the in row roller, which would be optional, is another 15. And then a post pass is 25. So without the in row roller, we're talking 67, including the, the whole cost of the rye. So 67, add the in row roller in, it's 82. And like I said, the in row roller added about six, seven bushels to our beans. So, you know, it paid for itself as far as that goes. Um, but then in this situation, we have very little weed pressure to clean up in the post pass. So, you know, we saw that picture that I just showed. Can we figure out how to clean up that last little bit and not have to spray a post, uh, a post spray for 25 bucks? Can we hit it with the roller again and clean up most of that? You know, can we hire some high school kids? I don't know. But I think we can get creative and figure out a way to get rid of that post pass. Um, and then with this type of scenario, the majority of these dollars that we're spending are potentially generated on the farm, whether it be through, you know, if you're growing your own rye seed, if you're running your own drill, uh, if you've got your own roller, you know, those can be profit centers for your farm operation instead of just sending those dollars out to the chemical companies. Um, but yeah, there's lots of room for improvement in this as well. So then, this is what I'm looking at for next year, upgrading the roller so I can eliminate that burn down pass. So that cuts $12 off. So now we're talking about $45 of mechanical control with the cover crop in there. And then the post pass is $25. Can we cut that $25 out? Can we cut it down? I think we can do something with it. Not exactly sure yet. Um, but that's just, you know, we're spending dollars to actually solve problems. And generally speaking, the dollars are, we're spending the dollars with ourselves, you know, with our own business, instead of sending it off the farm. So then, you know, we get into the relay type scenario where you're, this is what I really like because our weed control program is a revenue source. It's not an expense, it's a revenue source. So the rye costs money, a little bit more, throw some fertilizer, maybe throw some fungicide at it, just to make sure you get good germ. I learned the lesson the hard way on that this year, long story. Uh, rye harvest, post-harvest herbicide, gets us up to $150, $155 of expense. Uh, rye revenue, call it 30 bushels, $7 in the field, because you got a truck at home, put it in a bin, put air on it, get it back out, get it cleaned, and then you can finally sell it a seed. So $7 in the field is what I throw at it, gets us $210 an acre of revenue. So our profit from our weed control program is $55. That's profit. That's not an expense like what we have here. So $55 acre profit. And then on top of that, you're not spending the $65 to $85 for the expenses and the non-relay programs. So you're talking about $120 to $140 differential between the two as far as your, your dollars per acre uh, that you're working with. Now, soybean yield is going to be the deciding factor in how that ends up playing out uh, with our profitability. If we do a good job, 
with our relay soybeans, I think we can get really close to matching our soybean yields with our monocrop beans. But, you know, we're not there yet. We've only done it two years, got just over 100 acres under our belt. I know there's guys that have been doing it a lot longer, that their relay beans are just as good as what their monocrop beans are. You know, so the potential's there, and we can have better overall profitability. So, just to kind of wrap it up, you know, the whole premise of doing the system like this is, you know, we're trying to do this. You know, we want to get, we want to get our, our farm to start being a functional natural ecosystem again, because believe it or not, all of our farms are natural ecosystems. They're just not used to being functional anymore because of everything that's happened for the last however many years. Um, so anyways, this is, you know, having goals like this, if your only goal is, you know, to grow a crop and then go hang out at the lake, you know, it might be a difficult time to get a system like this implemented, but it is possible and we can make this happen as a profitable way of doing about it, going about it. So 